What's going on everybody? Welcome to the second Alexa skills with Python and Flask as tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is adding just our Python logic to whatever we want the app actually to do. Because basically at this point, what we've done is we've configured basically how our app is to work. Basically, we've got the skeleton kind of structure, but we need this basically this get headlines function. So in this video, we're going to build the get headlines function. Uh, and then the next video, we're actually going to apply the skill itself. So let's get started. So in get headlines, uh, we're going to start with a user pass dict. And in here, we're going to have three parameters. Basically, it'll just be user. And then user will be something. I'm just going to put username. Uh, but this should be a string. And in fact, let me just do that to make it totally clear. It should be your username in string form. Then uh, we'll have uh, pass wd. That will be a string of your password. I'm just not going to put it up on NVIDIA for me. And then finally, you're going to have API, not in caps, API type. And we're going to say uh, this will be JSON. Cool. Now we're going to have. Um, our session that's going to be request dot uh, session. Then we're going to do uh, update the header. So ses, uh, ses header dot actually headers update, and we need to update the user agent. This was uh, fairly foreign to me. I'm not quite sure why they need this, but basically Reddit requests of you to update the header or the user agent specifically in the headers, basically to just be anything but a legitimate user agent or something. I, I don't really know if anybody knows the rule of the, of the update. Because you can put anything. I could say I am testing Alexa here. Okay. And then um, I'll put my username. So, oh, I said Alexa. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you can, you can just, you just have to change it. So it's, it's interesting, but if you don't change it, you're going to get shut out. So anyway, whatever. Uh, Sess.post, we're actually going to log in now. So we're going to log in, HTTPS, colon slash slash, www.reddit.com slash API slash login. And then the data that we're going to post is the uh, user, if I could type, pass dict. Beautiful. OK. So we've logged in. And we're going to sleep now because the Reddit API is uh, apparently sensitive to many requests. So we're just sleep for a random one second. So you will notice a one second for sure and how long it takes your app to actually, you know, do something. So then we're going to say URL equals now whatever you want to visit. I'm going to visit the world news. So reddit.com slash r slash world news. And we want in JSON form and we're going to say limit equals 10. So we'll just get the first 10 headlines. You could do more if you wanted. And again, you can change world news to anything you want. Now we're going to say HTML equals sys.get URL. So that's our HTML. Now we're going to grab the data. We're going to say json.load load, uh, JSON .load s for load string. And what we are, the string basically we're going to load is html.content. And because it's we're all on Python 3, right, we have to decode. Uh, internet data basically, UTF-8. And you have to encode when you want to send data. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to say titles equals, and we're going to do a one liner for loop. If you don't know what list comprehension, uh, I do have a tutorial on that as well. It's not uh, essential that you understand it for this tutorial, but I'm going to use it just because I like them and I think it's cleaner. So, what we're going to run is uh, uni decode. If I could type uni decode dot uni decode again. This is just to clean up any like fancy characters that Python's going to get angry about. We're going to apply this to the uh, listing, the data of that listing, and when we get done, uh, first of all, I will still write out this in a regular for loop. Also, we'll print out the data itself. I'm just going to write it out first, and then you can see what we're doing. But basically, it's JSON, and you can treat JSON just like uh, you treat a dictionary. So we're ref referencing from a listing element, which hasn't been identified just yet, but we'll get there, the data from that, and then also title. 
So each element, each listing information has a bunch of information. We're looking at the, into the data of that listing. And then we just were grabbing the title of that listing. So, and we're applying unit to code to that. Then it's for listing in data, because we'll get the entire data, data. And then it has a children key in it. And that's the loop. Now, if we were to write this loop in um, regular Python terms, it would be like this. For the listing in data, we're going to say basically this. And really, we would say maybe uh, titles equals empty list. And then you would say uh, titles.append. And you'd append this. That's what this one line, this, these three lines is basically what this one line is doing. So there's that. We've got the titles. Now um, we've got titles, but there it's a list of strings. We want this to just be one string. So uh, what we can do instead is say titles equals, and then we'll just uh, use a join. So dot join, and then i for i in titles. So again, what this is going to do is join all these strings together, and their separator will be dot 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 space. Okay, so we've got titles, and now we'll return titles. Okay, great. So we'll save that. And now, just to test it, let's go ahead and um, we're just going to straight up run this here. So let's just say titles equals get headlines. We want to make sure this works, and then we'll print um, titles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to fill in my information real quick just to test this. Looks good. Running it. Let's see if we get any errors or anything goes wrong. Remember, uh, it will always wait at least a second, and then otherwise you're waiting on Reddit. One thing to keep in mind is Reddit, Reddit does go down generally around, like, I don't know, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Reddit can sometimes just crash. So in this specific app, um, just from the load of how many people are using it, so this specific app in general would probably do good with some sort of try and accept that waited for only a certain amount of time and then was like, okay, forget it. Let's try again later or something. Or just automatically resend the request or something. Otherwise, your your skill will time out. If something takes too long, the skill will actually time out, um, which can be either a good thing or annoying. Anyway. Here we have it. It's a nice, it's purely a string and we're ready to have Alexa read this to us in her beautiful voice. So uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, save this. So this is now our code. Uh, make sure you get rid of, let me just clear out my username and password. Um, just clear this out. We don't actually want titles, get headlines and titles to be running anymore. We just simply wanted to test it there. So we'll clean this up and we are pretty much ready. So in the next video, what we're going to do is actually run this and basically act like we're a server with Hengrok. We're going to set up on the developer.amazon.com and all of that. And we'll actually run and test this on our Alexa device. So that's what you have to look forward to. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever up to this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.